I'm Atosa Leone. What if you could have the key to unlocking authentic sexual well-being? Emily Nagoski is a sex educator and the author of the New York Times bestseller, Come As You Are, the surprising new science that will transform your sex life. With a playful and informative approach, Emily shares specific ways to boost the confidence and joy we need for a more fulfilling sex life. The mechanism in your brain that controls sexual response is called the dual control model. The dual control model. That means there's how many parts? Two, thank you. And if I tell you that the first part is the sexual accelerator or the gas pedal, that means the second part has to be the break. They don't let just anybody into these TED Talks. So the sexual accelerator notices all the sexually relevant information in the environment. Everything you see, hear, smell, touch, taste or imagine that your brain codes as sexually relevant, and it sends a signal that says, turn on. And it is functioning at a low level all the time, including right now, just the fact that we're talking about sex is a little bit sexually relevant. At the same time that that's happening, in parallel, your break is noticing all the very good reasons not to be turned on right now. This is everything you see, hear, smell, touch, Taste or imagine that your brain codes as a potential threat. And it sends a signal that says, turn off. So the process of becoming aroused is the dual process of turning on the ons and turning off the offs. Usually when people struggle with their sexual well-being, it's because, well, sometimes it's because there's not enough stimulation to the gas pedal, but more often it's because there's too much stimulation to the break and all kinds of things can hit the brake. Like, are you worried about unwanted pregnancy? Are you worried about your kids walking in in the middle? Are you really sure that your partner loves your sexy body? Are you really sure that you love your sexy body? Did you maybe spend the first two decades of your life in a culture that taught you that sex is dangerous, disgusting, and dirty? That's gonna hit the brake, right? <laughs> So the first thing science tells us to do when we are struggling with our sexual functioning, when we want to access our own authentic sexual well-being, what we do is start thinking through what are some of the things that hit our accelerator and what are some of the things that hit our break? And especially, what are some strategies that we can use in order to minimize the things that are hitting the break? Confidence comes from knowing what is true about your body, your sexuality, your internal experience, knowing what's true Knowing that you have a break, for example, as well as an accelerator. Knowing that they are sensitive to context. Knowing what's true, even if it's not what you were taught to expect would be true. Even if it's not what you were taught should be true. Confidence is knowing what is true. Joy is loving what's true. Loving your break as much as your accelerator. Loving that they are sensitive to context. Loving what's true, even if it's not what you were taught to expect would be true, even, especially, if it's not what you were taught should be true. Ready? Thing number one, what I want you to do is to stand in front of a mirror as close to naked as you can tolerate. <laughs> it gets worse. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at what you see there and you're going to write down everything you see that you like. And of course, the first thing that will happen is your brain will flood with all the culturally constructed messages about the ways your body falls short of the culturally constructed ideal. That's fine. You have every other minute of the day in which to have those self-critical thoughts. Just set them aside temporarily. And right now, you're going to write down the things you see that you like. If it is your eyelashes, write that down. If it's your toenails, write that down and then do it again tomorrow, and then do it again the next day, and the next day, and the more often you do it, the more obvious it will become to you what a freaking fracking miracle your body is, and the more immune you'll become to all that cultural noisy crap that's hitting the brakes. Option number two. If you genuinely cannot imagine looking in a mirror and seeing anything there that you would like, Here's what I want you to do instead. I want you to get into a calm, quiet state of mind just for a couple minutes each day. And I want you to visualize that door, that door that stands between you and your authentic sexual well-being. 
And what I want you to do when you can see it really clearly is that I want you to shine a beacon of kindness and compassion on the door. Because here's the thing about the door. It's not innate. You were not born with it. It was constructed in your brain by your life experience and by your culture. And you may hate the culture that built that door. You may work to change the culture that built that door. But never turn toward the door itself with hate. Because the door is part of you too. And it is not random. It's there to do some work. If you have been shamed for what's on the other side of that door, if you've been shamed for your sexuality, and who hasn't? That door is there trying to protect you from social isolation and judgment. If you have had what's behind that door, if you've had your own sexuality used against you as a weapon, if you're a survivor of sexual violence, your door is there doing really important work. If that's you, your door is doing the hard work of helping you to survive in a world where your own sexuality can be used against you as a weapon. And I don't know if your door might be ready to open a little bit, or if your door needs to stay closed a little while longer. But I know that the first step is always to turn toward the door with kindness and compassion. Confidence is knowing what's true about you, your sexuality, your internal experience. Joy is loving what's true, even when it's not what you were taught should be true. 